Hey guys, it's Lex at Lex Reads. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the popular books that I'm never going to read. Um, and before I start, I'm just going to say that I'm sorry I made the choice that I did. This jacket is noisy, and you're probably going to be able to hear it, so I'm going to try and stay still. Um, also said, I could obviously end up reading these books for one reason or another, like maybe I'll end up doing like a, like a buddy read if someone does like a buddy read or something, maybe I'll hop on, maybe I'll end up doing it one in like a road test or something, maybe I'll just get bored one day and think what the hell, but at this point in my life I have no intention of reading any of these books. Okay, let's just get in and get on into it. The first one is a thriller that is popular and famous and I really don't want to read. That's Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. The thing about this book is that I recognize how like important it is and like what it did for thrillers and I love thrillers. It's one of my favorite genres so I should probably have more respect, you know, but I don't because I'm a bad person. Um, and also because I've seen the movie and everyone's talked about it and I know how it ends. So I know that I won't be thrilled by it. And I guess that's not necessarily true. The journey could be as fun as the destination. But I just have a feeling that knowing all of the twists and turns will cheapen the book somehow. I do plan on reading some of her other books. Just not Gone Girl. Just not Gone Girl. The next one has been pretty popular recently. That's Serpent and Dove. I have literally no desire to read this book. I've heard mostly bad things about it, but everyone keeps talking about it. You know, when everyone keeps talking about something, even if it's bad, it kind of puts in the back of your head, like, maybe I should read that book. I don't want to read that book. I don't want to. It's a fantasy love story, I think, between, like, there's magic elements, and I'm pretty sure only the girls can do magic... And then, isn't the main dude like a priest or something? I don't, I just don't care. And it's a love story, I don't care. I just don't care. I'm not going to read it. You can't make me. You can't make me. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I'm not going to do it. My eyebrow itches. <sighs> the next one is an old popular book on BookTube. I haven't heard anyone talk about this book in a long time, but every time I'm watching an older video and... and it gets brought up, I'm like, uh, oh. um, and that's Daughter of Smoke and Bone. This is another fantasy star-crossed lovers situation. It might be paranormal. I'm actually not entirely sure what this book is about, and I think I maybe actually would like it. Hot take. <laughs> I probably would like it if I read it, and maybe I'll read it, at, like I said, maybe someday I'll end up reading it for a video, but I'm not gonna pick this book up just for funsies. I don't care that much. Starcross Lovers, sure, I guess that's fun, and I don't dislike it all of the time. Sometimes I like it. Paranormal, I dig. Fantasy, I like. I just, something about this book, maybe it's Lainey Taylor's writing. I've just heard a lot about Lainey Taylor's writing style that makes me wary. Let me down, know down in the comments if you are obsessed with this book or this series, or if you just really like Lainey Taylor. Let me know. This is another one. This is The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer. Like a handful of years ago, this book was all the rage. Everyone was like, wow, ah, about it. And I just never picked it up then. Still haven't to this day. Um, Mara Dyer wakes up in a hospital with no memory of anything. There's a love story. Everything's weird. I like the cover of this book. <laughs> I think it's a cool cover. That being said, I don't particularly want to read it. The next one is The Diviners by Liba, Liba Bray. This one takes place in the 1920s, so it's historical fiction, which 20th century historical fiction isn't my least favorite thing, but I don't love it. Um, I don't love historical fiction. In general, it's not really my fave. I don't actually entirely know what this book's about either, but I've heard such mixed things. Some people absolutely love it, but some people absolutely hate it. And for some reason, I feel in my heart of hearts that I would not like it. But it's magical realism, historical magical realism, 
historical fantasy. Um, I also, maybe a murder mystery? I want, God, can you tell that I didn't do any research on these books? Maybe I don't want to read them just because I don't know what they're about and everyone wouldn't keep shutting, like, wouldn't shut up about them, but I never really figured out what they're about and I didn't like it. I don't know. Let me know down below if you think I should read any of these books. Let me know down below if you think I should read any of these books for my series that is coming. Oh, I haven't even talked about the series yet. I'm doing a series where I read popular books for the first time because there's a lot of really popular books that I haven't read, but where I read popular books for the first time and then like vlog it and then talk about them at the end. Um, the first one is not a secret, but not not a secret, so I don't want to tell you what it is. But let me know down below if you think I should read any of these books for that. God, I literally was just like, I'm never reading any of these books. And then was like, maybe I'll read all these books for a video. Why am I like this? Ooh, this one I really feel strongly about. But once again, I think it could be funny for to hear my responses on a video. I think it would be funny. I don't want to read the Akatar series. The Accord of Thorns and Roses, that whole spielio, I don't want to. Isn't it like new adult, there's sex scenes, but like not enough plot and the romance is bad? That's mostly what I've heard. And it's like trash that everyone's obsessed with. I mean, I get it. Sometimes I'm obsessed with trash. Sometimes I make my home in the trash heap. But sometimes I don't, you know? You know what I mean? And I don't love romance. So if this is trash romance, probably not going to be my deal. Probably not going to be my thing. I don't want to. Sarah J. Mass, no thank you. No thank you. And this one, it's always controversial. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I hated the City of Bones. I DNF'd it. I read about 50% of it and then was like, you know what? Wasn't all she trash? We ain't talking about her. Like I don't, I don't want to read Cassandra Clare books. I have heavily considered doing a reading Cassandra Clare for the first time video series. But I'm gonna offend a lot of people if I do that because I'm basically gonna be hate reading them unless I fall in love. I guess that could happen. I. Tr started reading the city of bones when i was 13 or 14 for the first time and i didn't like it so now as a 21 year old i guess i could like it more i watched the tv show um because fun fact about me i still actively use tumblr i know i know everyone's always like what the heck is wrong with you that's a valid question um but a lot of my mutuals were obsessed with the the tv show um the mortal instruments tv show on, that was on ABC Family slash Freeform. So I watched it because they kept reblogging cute gift sets of Magnus and Alec, and I was like, okay, I ship it. Like, you, I'm sold. And I didn't actually hate the TV show, but I've heard that people that like the books hate the TV show. So maybe, hot take, maybe I think the TV show is better than the books. Should I give it another try? I don't know. Now I'm just confused. Popular book, maybe I'll change this title to popular books, I don't want to read, but I'm probably going to end up reading it anyway. I don't I don't know what's happening. Guys, everything's a mess, and the world is basically on fire, and all we have are books. I don't know. Let me know down below if you have any thoughts about anything I said in this whole video, because I have a lot of thoughts. I'm confused. <laughs> Happy, what is it, Thursday, my dudes? Thank you for hanging out with me. I will see you all tomorrow. Have a nice day. Have a nice rest of your day. Have a nice life. I'll see you. Why am I? This sounds so final. I'm just all in my head now. God damn it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I'm sorry I'm like this. Goodbye, friends.